All right, so here's the jug of the new refrigeration technologies product called Nylog White. Uh, I've been using it now for a little over a week. I'm a little bit more than halfway done with the bottle. Initially, my first thought is bottle needs to be a little bit bigger. I need a bigger container out of it. Um, supposedly, they're coming out with bigger packaging, bigger jugs. Everyone likes bigger jugs. Uh, re refrigeration technologies, it's, it's coming to a store near you. Um, let's see here. So, it's supposed to be for gas, water, air, and glycol. Let's see here. Look at that. Uh, it kind of looks like clear silicone that you would buy at your su supply house. From my understanding, uh, this is silicone with, you know, I think he just put some uh, Teflon in a blender. And uh, that's how he came up with this product. It it works out really well. It's nice and thick. You know what? Let's paint it on some gas pipe and I'll try to put it together for you guys. Alright, so we have uh, my table here. Someone wrote on it Wizard of Oz. I thought this was fitting because John Pastorello is the Wizard of Oz when it comes to HVAC products. So like I said, the consistency Look at that. It's kind of like a uh, ghost snot, if you will, or uh, something along those lines. But um, let's paint this on the threads. The key is, what I found, you don't need very much. Here we go. Well, as a lubricant, it seems to be working really well. It has a clean look to it. It goes on very thick. One thing I did notice uh, when it's warmer, if you put it on thick like this and you don't smooth it out, one downside is this will drip. You'll see little drips coming off of here. Um, you could just take your finger and wipe it, and you get a nice clean look to it. Or you get a rag or the t-shirt method, which we'll talk about. Alright, now for the second test. Let's glob this up on here. Let's get quite a bit on there, you know? And this time we're going to be nice and messy. We'll even stick some in the pipe. Why not? We can, right? Now, one thing that everyone was asking, which I don't even know the answer to this, but I'm intrigued by it, is Will this stain your clothes? Because I know Rector Seal, True Blue stains your clothes. There's another Rector Seal, I think number five. Uh, they have yellow pipe dope. There's gray pipe dope. All pipe dope stains your clothes. I've never found a pipe dope that does not stain your clothes. So instead of cleaning this off with my nice microfiber rag right here, I'm just gonna walk over. Check out my work shirt. Okay, so. This work shirt is already stained. As you can see, PVC glue, pipe dope. Uh, this thing has seen better days. I don't think I wear this one anymore. But this is what I'm going to do. All right. We're going to take the right arm. We're just going to go, let's clean this off. Oh, yeah. Okay. There it is. I'm not going to tell you what that looks like, but. Let's, uh, oh yeah, that's nice. And now let's try for the final test, just so we can see exactly what's happening here. Because it, it never comes from the brush. It's usually like you get something on your hand, and then just inadvertently you wipe it. So, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw this in the wash machine, and we're going to see what happens. All right, I wanted to show you this after the wash test. There's no marks. This could make my clothes last substantially longer. So that's a definite bonus. All right, let's recap this. So it goes on clear and it has a real clean look to it when it's done. Um, I like that a lot. Awesome, awesome benefit. 
Um, it washes out of clothes. That's huge because I stain my shirts and my pants all the time. One downside is it drips. It will drip all over if you put it on too thick. But wipe it off when you're done. Another downside is for the time being, it comes in a small canister. Uh, it's a little too small for me. I'd like to see, this is a four ounce. They might be coming out with a eight ounce or 16 ounce, I believe. But I'd like to, me personally, I'd be looking for an eight ounce. I think that would work out perfectly. So I'd say uh, this passes my test. Uh, I will be purchasing this. It is available in the link below in the description from True Tech Tools if it's not available locally. This is made by Refrigeration Technologies. John Passarello, the scientist, um, thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time.